Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Excel tutorial series. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use different type of button, check boxes and scroll bars in our Excel sheet to create personalized form that allows user to input and manipulate data that quickly adds an additional layer of usefulness. In this lab, we'll see how to use spin button, scroll bar, option buttons, check box and combo box. So without any further delay, let's start our lab. First, we'll see how to increment and decrement a value in an Excel by using spin button. For example, we have this table with fruits and quantity column, and we will use spin button to change the value of cell C5. To do that, first you need to enable the developer tab from Excel option. Go to the file menu and click options. Now click on customize ribbon and check the developer checkbox from main tabs option. Now go to the developer tab and click on insert option. Click the spin button under the form control section and place the spin button in the cell. Now right click on it and click on format control as we have to set the minimum value which will be 1. Maximum value in this case is 30,000 but you can change it according to your need. Incremental change is one which means a value will increment and decrement by one every time you click the button. And cell link which will be C5 in this case. So press OK and now you'll see every time I click the up or down button the value changes accordingly. Now on to scroll bar which is quite similar to spin button but it has now bar to change the value. To do that again you need to go to the developer tab, click on insert option and select scroll bar from form controls. Now place it in the required cell which is D5 in this case and right click on it again to set the minimum maximum value incremental change and cell link same as we did before for the spin button and press OK. Now you will see the scroll bar to change the values in the cell. Now on to Excel option buttons or sometimes referred to as radio buttons which lets you choose one option from the collection of possibilities. Let's say we have the data set with two columns, item and size and we will use the option button to select the size of each item. Now go to the developer tab and click on insert option and choose the option button under the form control section. Place it where you want it to put in in the cell and change its name according to your options. Link any cell to it and the value of that cell changes accordingly. In this case we link cell D5 which shows the value according to our selection for example 1 for small, 2 for medium and 3 for large. Draw a group of options on the worksheet. In this case, we're using three buttons, which is small, medium, and large. You can do this by pressing Ctrl plus D or just copy and paste it. That's how you can insert option buttons or video buttons into your Excel cells. Excel checkboxes are also same as option buttons, but it lets you select multiple options. For example, we have a table with columns, item and toppings and we want to use check boxes to select the toppings from an item in the table. Now to do that, go to the developer tab again and click on insert option and this time choose the check box button under the form control section. Place it where you want it to put in the cell and change its name according to your options. Draw a group of checkboxes on the worksheet. In this case, we're using four checkboxes, which are sausage, pepperoni, mushrooms, and onions. And you can do this by pressing Ctrl plus D or just copy and paste it. And there you go. You now you have checkboxes for the selection. Now, the last thing we'll see is Excel combo box, which gives us drop down menu to select the options. So let's say we have a table with columns, item and color. We will use the Excel combo box to choose the color for the item. To do that, first we'll make list of items that we use in the drop down menu. 
Then go to the developer tab and click on insert option and choose the combo box option under the form control section. Place it where you want it to put in the cell and right click on the box and select format control. Set the input range to the list of options that you created and set the cell link to the cell where you want it to display the selected option. Click OK and you will see the options in the drop down menu which you can select them based on your criteria of selection. That is it for this video on Excel personalized form buttons. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.